Now, what am I riding? I am riding a 2014 Suzuki V-Strom 1000. Yeah, and I actually did a, a long day ride yesterday. I didn't videotape that, obviously. I'm also using, if you can see in the reflection, I'm using the chest the chest mount and the frame mount on the GoPro. Um, I've never used the GoPro on this bike yet. There is a lot of, I wouldn't say wind buffeting, but there is some wind noise from the windscreen. But that's at the top of the helmet. I don't know what, it, I doubt you're going to get too much wind on my chest. Um, so. This bike is relatively new. I've only got 1,500 miles on it. And... So, if this mic is working, and it sounds okay, I do have my uh, shield down, so hopefully it's a little better. Um, but as far as this bike, uh, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I am a sport bike guy. Um, I've owned a lot of different bikes before. And uh, I had a Super Duke 990, which I really enjoyed. But I wanted something more kickback, something that I could relax on, something that was comfortable, something that I could go long distances on. And riding a sport bike or supermoto or super duke for that matter. Um, I mean, you can set maybe up the super duke for touring and stuff, but you know, for long distances, something that I haven't really done before because uh, sport bike riding and you know, you can only go so far and you're going to be in a rack of pain. So, um, What's interesting about this bike is uh, the Japanese are all, I think Honda's the last one to bring their uh, adventure bike to America. So all the Japanese manufacturers have adventure bikes now in America. Uh, the V-Strom has always had a huge cult following. Um, there's a 1000 and there's a 650. This is the new generation of the 1000 and it's greatly improved. A lot of people who bought the old gen ended up just trading it in, getting the 650. There is a lot to be said for small and light bikes, which I am a proponent of. Um, but I am 6'4", 220, and uh, sometimes the 1000 obviously suits me better, so that's why I went with this. Um, as far as the other bikes on the market, there is the Versus 1000, that's a great bike. Um, there is the Yamaha FJ09, that is a great bike too. And uh, Honda's hasn't come over yet. Uh, and then of course this is the V-Strom. And it's really what what works for you best, what, 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 you, what catches your eye. They're all great bikes, you can't go wrong. There are other subtle differences. And uh, I really wanted a V-Twin. Um, I love the TL1000 engine. And uh, I've had a lot of inline fours. And even though the Versus 1000 is a really nice bike, um, I just wanted a V-Twin. And that's what I got with this. Um, it's been really nice. Now I did get the Adventure model. I think that the uh, V-Strom diehards will probably buy the basic one and then put all the stuff on it that they like. Um, there is a lot of aftermarket stuff that they make for uh, the V-Strom. So you really have a wide range of things you can do. You can put heated grips on it, put fog lights. Uh, but I bought the Adventure model and the Adventure model comes with a bigger windshield. Uh, hand grips, uh, the panniers on the side, the engine guards, um, and uh, I'm forgetting what else comes with it, but uh, but you save about uh, a grand if you were to buy them separately. Um, oh yeah, you have the 
the bottom engine guard too. Um, it's quite exposed. The engine's quite exposed. Uh, the front pipe and the front oil filter. Um, uh, but that's the first thing people put on these things anyway is a skid plate and it does have so the adventure does come with a skid plate but it is plastic so but i'm not going to be doing any heavy off-road stuff you know i'm not going around the world with uh um that english guy who i can't remember his name is um so and uh and I haven't seen a lot of them. Uh, I've seen some more v strums just recently, but in the few months I've owned this bike, I haven't seen very many of them at all. And uh, the first day I had this bike, I stopped three places and uh, people comp complimented me on my new Beamer. And uh, by the third, third, third stop, I just went along with it. Yep, yep, BMW makes a great motorcycle. And I just, you know, had to pull the plug and they say the big S on the uh, tank means sport. That's what they told me at the dealership. But, uh, so yeah, so the big adventure bikes, the, the kings, the, da the, the big daddies of uh, adventure bikes are the BMW and uh, the GS BMW and the KTM Adventure. Um, those bikes are have a lot of electronic stuff on them. Um, they're great, but they're also pushing 20, over 20 grand. This was 12 with a bunch of stuff on it, and uh, uh, and it has the popular engine. You know, once in a while you get that that engine that just was really well done and engineered properly, and it just becomes a fan favorite. And they actually discontinued the bike they had it in for a while, and then uh, and, but they had it in the 1000 V-Strom, and of course this, it's been upgraded a little bit, so it's nice. Um, but I do like the bike, you know, uh, there, I don't have any uh, complaints about it, there isn't anything that I really truly dislike about it um they're they're a little bit odd things they're little nitpicks you know like if i turn the traction control off the light stays on all the time and i just find that a little annoying um but i usually just run it with the low traction control anyway so it doesn't matter um people have people have mentioned that the the bigger wheel up front is made for dirt but then you have uh and you don't and you don't have wired wheels which doesn't make too much sense so i mean if you're gonna make the wheel size in the front for dirt but not have wired wheels is 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 kind of a weird combination so um but it doesn't bother me the bike tracks perfectly stable stays online wherever i pointed it goes very nice um uh, what else don't I like about the bike? <laughs> um, I can't really... Uh, the windscreen is a little not that great. I think that's the second thing that probably people change. Um, um, but that's about it. I, I don't really... Uh, don't really have any kind of situation with that, eh? I guess you should open the open the shield, see if there's any difference in sound. Um, whoa. Oh, oh, the other thing that I it was a little bit, you know, I, I think that again is if you're a V-Strom diehard, you should get the base model and then add all the stuff you want on it. But when I got the adventure model, I just assumed everything was going to be on it, and it didn't have a center stand, and I found that a little bit weird. Uh, you know, and so I had to buy a center stand. Uh, I got a little bit of a deal on one from uh, on eBay, but uh, it's an OEM part. So, but it was a little weird. You know, it wasn't that hard to put on, but still, I just you know got it home and riding around a little bit, and then I went, wait a minute, there's something missing, and it was 
the uh, center stand. So I, I just think that's a little bit odd. I mean, the Versus 1000 has one, you know, comes with it, you know, so. Um, so I, I definitely think on the adventure model, they should include the center stand, so. Um, so, I, I mean, I think that's the point of, of, of having the model with uh, a bunch of accessories on it. You expect it to be, you know, loaded in a sense. So, a little bit weird. Again, this is the first time I've taken the GoPro on the V-Strom. I don't know if the camera's pointed right. I don't know if the sound is working. I really don't know, but I'm just taking a leisurely drive. And this guy's bought his new Toyota. He's going to go home and show the family. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I've owned sport bikes pretty much my whole life. And I've had a couple of standard bikes. Um, I did have a cruiser bike once that had a shaft drive and air shocks and drove all around the Northwest and that. I was, that was fun. And that was kind of a long distance bike. But for me, I, I, I just I get the cruiser bike thing, but I just like the standard seating position. And then then you tack on the adventure bike, and uh, the maneuverability of this bike is just fantastic. But then also sitting up high, I just didn't think about it too much, but you see more. And uh, I've been on this one road a million times, and I was on this, and I looked over and I saw uh, a body of water that I had never seen before. I didn't even know it existed because, you know, I, I was sitting low. You go by in a car, you don't see it. You go by in a motorcycle, you don't see it. You go by an adventure bike, you do see it. So, let's go 192 if you're still with me. Um, what else about the V-Strom? So, um... Uh, it's just the torque. The torque of the, the V-Twin um, is really nice. Uh, I will have to say that traction control I had to get a little bit used to. Um, I don't want to make a blanket statement, but you know, you get a new bike, and you're not used to it, you're trying to get familiar with it. Uh, I would turn the traction control off because until I did that, I was really having problems getting used to this bike. It was just, it was just, it was not a problem, but just, um, it was just annoying. Just a little bit of annoying thing because I really didn't, you know, I want to get a feel for the front end. I want to get a feel for the traction. I want to get a feel for the bike and stuff. And if you have something interfering with that, it's hard to get used to it. Uh, but with that said, now I ride all the time with the setting one of the traction control. So, um, uh, but I think when you first get the bike, you know, try try turning it off. I mean, unless you're in a rainstorm or something. Um, and uh, what's rare for me too is uh, having a windscreen. Um, it has been quite a sea change for me um, to be able to actually go down the freeway and you know not feel that big wind blast um, the other day I was coming home I was tired you know I just it's a big big pack of cars on the freeway and I just went in the slow lane and went about 80 and cruised by everybody and you know and uh, on my sport bike would have been a lot of fun I will admit but you know there is a lot of wind uh, also, uh, this has more of instrumentation than I'm used to. I've got, not only do I got a gear indicator, um, I've got uh, gasoline um, and 
the power consumption and things like that you can switch the modes I don't really do that I just kind of leave it at range and uh, but I've not had a bike with uh, um, a fuel indicator on it so this that's nice you know and uh, so when I fill it up it's about 240 miles 250 miles sorry Lane Rover just head up over here and this is 192 and uh, you know let's not scare the bicyclists so I try to the one thing is you got to give them room but you don't want to go by them really fast because it gets weird for them you know uh, and what I meant by that if you give them a bunch of space but you're going by at 80 miles an hour uh, it doesn't really really count as being conscientious now I will do I'm in California so I get to do that no there's nobody back here so let's open it up a little bit going on these turns here so Nice roads, little switchback here. It's been around and oh, quite maneuverable. Anything that can move my big fat body around is commendable. So that's what I really liked about the Super Duke. Now I'm going to use my flashing here. I use that all the time. I think that's a great thing to have on the bike. I don't know if you can see that, but you blink your lights. I do that all the time. So even if I, any intersection I'm at, I always flash the lights. Um, I've had enough people, as you've probably ridden your bike, People look right at you and they still pull out in front of you. So I just flash every any any situation. And uh, it's just a good habit to get into. See it now. She was obviously looking at me. So what else can I say about the bike? Um, I think that's it for my review. Uh, that is the review of the V-Strom. I, I hope this video worked and the sound worked. And, uh, and I hope we're still recording. And uh, maybe I'll just shut up and, and you can enjoy the ride. But it sure is comfortable. I think that's the number one reason why I got the bike was it just fit me well. I sat on it. It's big. It feels big. But like all these types of bikes, once you get it rolling, it's not that big. Hi, Mr. Lane Cruiser. All right. Go down this road. Whoa. Take the turn, hit the bicyclist. So I'm certainly not going to compare this to the Super Duke, but you know, you want to turn traction control off, have a little fun on the bike, there's plenty of torque. Um, but really this bike is just mainly for cruising around. Um, it's just a completely different mindset for me, which is nice. I don't have to be king of the highway, I don't have to be king of the road, I don't have to pass anybody. Um, relax, enjoy the scenery, um, and uh, what's nice about it too, I mean, uh, compared to the other bikes I have 
you know, I don't have to turn around and go home. I mean, yesterday I was really ain't going anywhere in particular, but it ended up being a long day ride and uh, just going out and exploring and uh, and uh, I get off this bike. I mean, yeah, there is fatigue, just natural fatigue from riding, but it's certainly not what you could get on a sport bike. I mean, I don't have the aches and pains um, that I have on other bikes. Oh, now that we're going over uh, tree tree roots, uh, really comfortable ride on the V-Strom. Should mention that suspensions pretty well dialed in for stock so um, you do have a, a preload adjuster back here you do have a knob so you can just turn it you know you load up the panniers you put a passenger on it you know you, you know click it up a couple of notches and you're good to go um, which is really convenient um, and uh, a lot of complaints about this windshield. I mean, I think it's a little bit bigger than the base one, but you know, I put it up two notches. It's okay, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I've gone on some long rides and you know, yeah, I'm sure there's a better one out there, but it's not like I'm dying to get one. Uh, it's not It's not that imperative. So, um, other than that, not much to do, not much to say about the bike, you know, usually there's stuff to bitch about and if there's nothing bad about the bike to say, then you're doing pretty good. Well, that's about it for this today's video. Uh, I'm signing off. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. I think I just ran over a dead squirrel.